Hey everybody, Mike here, and uh, this will be a little guide or hopefully helpful tips and tricks for Ultima weapon, uh, extreme mode. Uh, this guy isn't too terribly difficult, there's just a couple of things you need to know. Uh, one right off the top uh, uh, that I remember is, this guy requires a tank swap, which is kind of like, kind of like in coil. Uh, generally, you just only really want to get to about three stacks, and then you got, uh, the tanks are going to want to switch off. Um, this first phase, Garuda comes down on the comes down here, and she does this AOE if you see in front of her there. And uh, at the same time that she does her AOE, actually, I should say slightly before Ultima Weapon himself will cast a Vulcan Burst. Which is the same ability that Ifrit uses and it just knocks you back. So you can actually get knocked back out of the Garuda AoE, which is, you know, kind of helpful. But um, it's a cone, so you gotta kind of know what's happening. And right there, that was the where the the blue appeared on the outside. That's just like in Garuda uh, hard mode. Uh, the key thing to remember is you want to get as close to that as you can without actually stepping in it. And then once it kind of starts to dissipate, then you want to run to the outside of, uh, of the ring because that's when uh, Titan drops down and uses Geo Crush, just like in his hard mode. So see, there you go. That was Vulcan Burst. And it knocked me back away, away, just as Garuda was using her AoE. So again, just a nice little, nice little thing to remember. It can actually <laughs> help you out. And here we've got Ifrit's plumes, and then followed right by Weight of the Land. I don't believe these Weight of the Lands behave the same as Titan. I don't think that they that they appear under characters themselves. I think they're in. It seemed to me anyway that they were in set patterns. So um, I guess I can. It wouldn't be such a bad idea to try it out, but so there you got the inside plumes and then weight of the lens. Yeah, there, there's no way that that wasn't directly underneath me and there was no nobody near me. So, so those weight of the lens again don't uh, they don't behave the same way. So they're just uh, set patterns. They're real, in my opinion, they're real easy to avoid. So here we've got outside blooms again, followed by a weight of the lands piled up on the inside. Pretty, again, pretty easy to get out of these. I really like this fight, actually. It's, it's a lot of fun. So here's our eruptions starting. And Ultima doesn't have a, he doesn't have a cast bar. So as far as I can tell, those can't be interrupted. It looks like you just got to be kind of paying attention. And I mean, honestly, they're... You have so much time they got out of them. It's pretty easy. Here's another skill he's got called Tank Purge. That's just gonna hit. It's gonna hit for a decent amount of damage. Couldn't tell if that was everybody or not. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky. You see Ifrit there. He does his little charge thing, just like in hard mode. And then he's got. He's dropping blooms. In set patterns. So again, I think I'll. In my opinion, this part. Part's pretty easy. It looked like our white mage was having some issues getting out of stuff, but uh, yeah, whatever happens. And here's a couple more eruptions. Uh, my thought was that uh, after 50%, um, the fight was gonna change. Here, etheric boom. That is a knockback. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it does any damage. Uh, but that's the. That's so that you know that these orbs are coming. The way these orbs work. Two orbs are connected by a purple line. When you walk into one orb, it does an explosion, and the amount of damage that you take is based on the amount of people that are in the explosion. So you want to get people grouped up together, and then walk into the orb so it's distributed a little better. And here, this green orb, I think that follows people. I think it, I think it, I don't know if, uh, if it actually puts a, a little target reticle on you or not. I, it never happened to me, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, it was following that dude, and then it just blew up over uh, a certain amount of time. So generally, you just want to stay away from pretty easy. 
<clears throat> and here's where it gets a little bit trickier. <clears throat> These Magitech bits, there's a ton of them. There's so just... I don't know if it would pay to just limit break these or not. Maybe maybe the, uh, you know, like a black mage limit break or something, but I don't know. It's just more of an annoyance thing, I guess. They're, they're not particularly difficult. It's just, you know, you gotta... There's a lot of movement, so maybe... Maybe that could eliminate or uh, alleviate some stress on healers. I'm not sure. I, I, I wasn't really running this. Um, this is more of a server... Pog, I guess you'd call it. So, I mean, I was really learning this fight too. I had only been in here one other time, and I think, I think we tried a, a few times, and then people had to leave. So, uh, anyways, you know, just kill kill the the little magitech bits and then move on. So here's another orb that uh, I don't know. Like I said, I think it follows people. So that's what that's what it seems like. You know? And it just blows up over a period of time. Ah, uh, and then the, the little green green lines. Uh, you just want to stay out of those too. So tank tank purge it does look like it hits everybody. And then here's a fair boom. It looked like again. So here's the second pattern. And it looked like that the off tank just went and grabbed one, so he took all the damage, but the rest of us took care of the other ones. One thing that is really helpful to know about those is that you only have to walk into one side of the orbs um, for the other one. Then I guess the other one just disappears. Uh, but one thing that you, you also want to know is that if those, if you don't make them explode and you let them touch, it wipes it wipes your raid. There's it does like seven or eight k damage to everybody. So so yeah, so you can't let uh, you can't let the orbs you know, touch each other, which it does take quite a bit of time for them, uh, at least with the first two patterns, you know, to actually touch each other. So you get kind of, you have you have time to heal in between and stuff, but uh, that comes more into play for the for the third set, because it, it gets quite a bit trickier. And then here you just got the Magitech bits again. The, they're spread out. They're more on the outsides of the room as opposed to grouped up on the center. So again, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it to tell me that break them or not. I don't know. The fight's the fight's pretty easy. And then here I just get bombed. I didn't even see that orb. But it looks like there was either two of them or three of them were out at the same time. <clears throat> and then here's the tank purge again, so this will be a big hit for everybody. Um Yeah, I think I think generally I was trying to turn on Fists of Earth whenever I was expecting a big a big hit, but it looked like I did. So here's Etheric Boom again. We'll see if I did it right this time. Yep, I hit Fists of Earth. These ones are tricky because they're really fast. So you really gotta you really gotta pull that off. And another another thing another theory I guess I had was maybe just hitting the tank limit break right there. And then you can just run into those, and it shouldn't shouldn't do much. But that was pretty. That went real well. You know, everybody was healed up. Everybody kind of got to where they needed to go. As long as you're, as long as you're next to each other, uh, it really helps. And then here I just limit, I just, uh, level two limit break the boss. Not quite a kill shot, but pretty close. Uh, but that's gonna pretty much wrap this up. With the three little orbs spawn there, and these guys take them out to the face. But it didn't matter. They lived, so it was all good. Uh, but that's it. Uh, good luck on the runs, and I uh, hope you enjoy this fight as much as I did.